it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're going to be taking on Arcana level 40 with a different deck. Uh, I have heard some of you guys saying that uh, the circuit build is not working uh, or at least circuit is not working uh, towards the very end. I I'm guessing it's, it's, it's that glitch happening again. Uh, I know before we had a glitch where you do everything you're going to do for the farm and then you bring out circuit and it does not let you... Uh, go for the go for the ultimate dragon or for whatever fusion monster you're running it doesn't let you bring it out and it's just weird I, I don't know it's a glitch that's going on uh, so because of that I'm gonna go ahead and put out a different deck and this deck I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now this deck is way better than the when the, than the previous ones uh, I did put out uh, two before a union attack version and non-union attack version uh, and just to kind of cut the clutter I made two different builds with this deck I'm gonna put up uh, both screenshots of the decks right here uh, the deck I'm gonna be using is the union attack version because you get more points but I also have another build right here that doesn't use union attack you basically just go for uh, you go for piranha you Ryoku and gate uh, <laughs> gift of the martyr uh, get guardian to make him really really strong he hits for over 10k and so you'll you'll get the over 9999 bonus and it, it, the deck does work all right and this one i think it's just a little bit more consistent because you are running you are running uh, the union attack version i'm gonna just show it off basically because i actually really like this deck uh, i think it's really good if you are trying to run this deck and you m don't have some of the cards let's say you do have union attack uh let's say you do have union attack but you don't have one of the Shard of Greeds or something, go ahead and just run a triple Jar of Greed. Uh, if you don't have uh, Fusion Gate, go ahead and run Polymerization. It don't matter. Uh, these cards are just here due to my preference, just because I like I like Fusion Gate. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and just show off the deck. And there he is, a friggin' Arcana, level 40. And let's go ahead and, and, and show him who's boss. Alright, okay, so the show is about to begin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a deck that's gonna replace all the previous ones. This one's probably a lot better. You only need Elements Unite, so as long as you have the Paradox Bros, you should be able to use it, because they pretty much come with this ability. So, alright, so he's gonna go first, he's gonna do whatever he wants, you know, it does not matter, he can't stop us. He's gonna go for a Tomato, I don't even care about tomatoes, man. Uh, I eat tomatoes for breakfast, that's a stupid joke. Alright, um... Uh, so we're gonna bring out uh, Gate Guardian. I was about to call him Sanga. We're about to bring out Gate Guardian. Um, his animation is not as cool as the Dark Magician, so we're gonna show off part of it and skip it. All right. Weird little thing at the end. All right, but yeah, we have him out now. We're not gonna attack him. We do not want to deal damage with this build. So we don't want to deal any damage. Uh, ideally, with both builds, you don't want to deal damage. Uh, but right now, we're gonna go ahead and draw. Alright, and we already got the card we need. I mean, to be honest, all you need is ready to, ready for intercepting, and you pretty much win. You're going to win. Uh, right now, another thing we can do, I am running Goblin Secret Remedy, and Hier Hieroglyph, I think it's called, uh, that you pay a thousand, so you end up at 100, so you get like the maximum life point bonus. Uh, so right now, there's those arrows, I swear. They, they did some update, and they give you these little arrows. It's so awkward. Uh, these little arrows are, are like basically choosing which monster is going to attack so if you if you try to like normal where you direct a, a different monster to attack it, it's going to mess you up i i think it's something we got to get used to i don't know why they added those arrows um but yeah let's go ahead and yeah he doesn't really have anything i think he's got too many dark magicians or something in hand uh we've got housekeeping which is a good card to draw early on and i guess we're gonna go ahead and kill this to man there's those arrows uh we're gonna kill his tomato and a tomato into tomato. Alright, no problem. And let's turn. We always do have uh, ready for intercepting. It's always live because it flips in uh, spellcaster or warrior face down. Uh, so we can always uh, flip gate guardian face down if we need to. Uh, usually we don't. I mean, unless your uh, field is clogged for whatever reason. Before your final turn, on your opponent's turn, you usually use it. Uh, but for now, no. We can attack that thing. I mean, he's got 11 cards. There's those arrows again. He has 11 cards, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let him deck thin a tiny bit. Uh, so if he does decide to bring out Dark Magician, 
Like, if he summons Fiend Jester right now and goes for Dark Magician, it does not matter. Because uh, we are going to intercept it, and he's going to go face down. We're going to kill it. All right, so there is that. Shard agreed. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, Union Attack back at the bottom of the deck. Uh, it doesn't really matter. All right, housekeeping. All right, so we're in both decks pretty much do the same thing. So if you guys are, are wondering uh, that I'm running this build and not the other one, they're basically the same thing. The only difference is at the very end, the very last few cards you run. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm going to hold on to Fusion Blade just because, I mean, I have no reason to really use it now. Uh, the arrows. Alright, yeah, but we got him. He's going to go for another thin. Oh, he's gonna, he ran out of tomatoes. Alright, so he's got Fiend Jester on the field. Summon something else. He could go for Dark Magician, but he's not going to. He's, he's, he's scared. He doesn't have Thousand Knives yet. Uh, let's see. Another shard agreed. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use him. Clog up my field for one turn. It doesn't matter because I can't really. Uh, there's nothing I can really use anyway. So which one am I gonna hit? I'll hit. This one. Like and nothing matters. It's just the attack. Uh, the only thing is he's gonna he's gonna keep thinning. But we are going to thin our deck out way faster than our opponent is, so. Oh yeah, and another thing, uh, another thing I can recommend that you run in either of these builds, if you do have the engine for Triple Gravekeeper's Recruiter and Triple Wonder Wand, I do recommend you go ahead and use that, because it makes the deck so fast. But unfortunately, I do not have that build. Uh, I just want to put, put that out there, make it an option to you guys, because it is way better than anything I can I can actually use. And I I saw I saw someone actually use that, um, and I, I thought it was amazing. I never thought about using that, and it was it was really cool. Unfortunately, I mean I don't have those cards, so I'm sticking to this build. And right now we can go ahead and set this guy. We already got the Thunder Dragons. We actually need those Thunder, Dra Thunder Dragons for the final turn. Um, I think the Thunder Dragons... I'm confusing myself. The Thunder Dragons are actually really cool for like the farm purposes because it thins out your deck. And it also gives you a fusion for the very last turn. So, uh, now that we have this, let's go ahead and... Can we attack? I'm going to... Mm, should I attack? I mean, he's if he deck thins again... I don't know. I don't know if I should. I mean, I probably will. Because I'll deck thin faster than him. And he's already got all his Dark Magician, so we don't have to worry. Uh, so he's got, we got eight cards, he's got four. But we are going to go ahead and activate this. Alright, and this guy, let's just put stuff at the bottom of our deck. Uh, why not? Let's put this. And we have our card to pay a thousand, so that's usually we don't want this this card at the bottom. We don't want a uh, hieroglyph at the bottom or the heal spell. So let's go ahead and draw again. We've already used both shards of greed, so that's awesome. Uh, we don't we're not gonna need these apparently, so let's go ahead and activate this. Let's pay a thousand and leave our life points at one hundred. So he cannot deal damage to us in any possible way. So in this build, it's actually perfectly safe. Uh, we can also activate this just to activate it. And we, we can't really, I mean, he can't stop us. We can set double of these and he can't stop us. Uh, but I really don't need to. So for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass. We have, we can hold up to seven cards in hand. So we're, we're completely safe. And he's got three cards left. Alright. There's another one. Another thing that's gonna thin out our deck. That's why I didn't set him. Because I know we can thin out a little bit faster. I'm gonna go ahead and refrain from attacking now. I, even though I could. He already add, added all his Dark Magicians. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit him. But yeah, I thought it would be a cost thing. So it does not matter. Also, at the very end, you get a bonus for how many monsters you kill. So it helps out in the end. So he's got two. I think I'm going to have two as well. Let's check. Right, what, am, what am I at? Two or one? I'm not going to get to use that housekeeping. All right, but yeah, we've already passed them in number of cards. So in the end, no matter no matter how you run the deck, unless you get really lucky and all three of the go goblin housekeepings are at the bottom, or, or all, the, all the draw cards, basically, Shards of Greed and stuff are at the very bottom, that's the only downside to this build. But if you're not running this build and you are going for Grave Keepers, you're gonna, have to, you're gonna go so fast, man. Uh, so right now, we're not gonna need this. We can literally discard it. Uh, we can discard any of these guys as well. And I think we're pretty much all set. I mean, let's just go ahead and attack them. 
and discard what we don't need. Alright, so we are all set. He's gonna go for his final turn. We're gonna discard this guy so we don't need him. And alright, so right here, you see what he does? He discards and passes. Alright, he, he literally had nothing. And that is our final card in our deck. Now we can go for all of our strategies all at once. Uh, we can go ahead and summon Vassal. We can go for the Vassal. We can activate this because it is a glossy. So just let Vassal attack directly even though there's no monsters on the field. Uh, but why not activate it if it is a glossy? I mean, why not? And now we can go ahead and activate Fusion Gate. We can activate Fusion Gate to summon our other Thunder Dragon guy. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. Uh, so we get to get him out on the field. Seriously, the Thunder Dragons are so good for like the fusion. Uh, and now we have both of these big monsters and a small little vassal on the field. Now we can go ahead and activate Union Attack. Add the attacks of the big ones to the small one, which is really, really genius. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. He can't stop. He's like, his only trap is Dark Renewal. And he has to have a Spellcaster on the field. That's why we don't let him have Spellcasters. We attack everything. We attack everything so we cannot use it on us. So, for now, we're all set. And I guess that's going to be game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack him. Alright. And it's recommending. <laughs> it's like, I recommend you to attack with the strong one. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and attack with the strong one then. Alright, and that's, that's it. That's all you really got to do with this build. Uh, with the other one, you bring out... You pretty much just bring out a Piranha and use those two, Ririoku and Gift of the Martyr, with your Get Guardian in that order. Ririoku first, then Gift of the Martyr, and he becomes like 6,000 or something attack, and then you just wreck him. Uh, it's pretty easy. I think this deck might have a little bit more steps, but it does reward you a lot more points. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and check on our, our score, and let's see if we've gotten anything. All right, so what do we have? We got comeback victory. You always get comeback victory. Light points on the brink, though, because we're at 100. And any good cards? Nope. Also, look, 9,100. We got that Labyrinth Builder. Getting repeat skills is always pretty cool because you get 15 uh, gems. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 9,000 points. That's insane. That's pretty strong. Uh, so this is probably one of the best farm methods I've used. I tried using 3-star Demotion. But since it has been nerfed, I think I think it finally you do have to pay three thousand. It makes it a little bit more inconsistent, so I just recommend going for this build. Uh, so I think this this deck is probably a lot more useful. And I mean, I can go ahead and put up a video of the three star emotion in case that's your jam. I mean, if if that's what you like, I'll go ahead and put that out next time. Uh, but for now, I do highly recommend this deck, whichever build you may like. Uh, I, they're both guaranteed to work. And they're both way better than Unhappy Girl. Alright, but that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show off this cool new build that is way more consistent and way more powerful. Uh, and you get more points for it. Uh, I haven't gotten any of the SRs yet. I mean, I, I think I got one of them, but I got it because I lost. And I ended up getting getting uh, Warlock, I think. So that's the only SR I've gotten from farming him. And I've fought him over 15 times because I've gotten the 15 card, uh, the arrows card. Alright, but anyway, thank you guys for watching today, have a great day, and see you guys!